Before we get back to the product, let's discuss some of the highlights. Template codes are used to define default settings during transaction entry. Settings include the purchase order type, common reference and descriptive text, ship to and bill to address information, assigned tax group, and terms code. These defaults can be overwritten during data entry either by default settings within the vendor record in accounts payable as well as by the user during data entry. Although template codes are optional, they can make data entry much more efficient. Additional costs are used to record costs incurred when receiving items from vendors. These costs can include shipping, handling, or other fees such as import fees. There are several options to determine how the cost is prorated to items and additional costs can be created for a specific vendor or used more generically for any vendor. Email messages are used for communicating selected purchase order documents with vendors. In accounts payable, vendors are offered the ability to receive purchase order or return documents by email rather than having them printed and directly mailed or faxed. Messages can be created to accompany these email documents. Personalized codes, similar to a mail merge feature in a word processing application, are used to customize these message documents. The purchase order module allows vendor specific costs to be created, allowing purchase orders to automatically default to negotiated costs when specific items are ordered. You can determine item costs for a single unit of measure or for multiple units of measure. Even identify cost discounts if the vendor provides volume discounts. Let's take a look at the setup codes starting with the ship via codes.